Mahjong is a game of numbers. Players try to match three or four tiles of the same number or three numbers in sequence of the same suit. Numbers from the dice determine who is the dealer and how tiles are drawn from the beginning. The four winds, east, south, west and north are used to count the numbers 1 to 4 from the dealer's location. Why the seasons and flower tiles with the index number from 1 to 4 give a special bonus related to a similar counting from the dealer's seat. The numbers 1 to 9 of the three suits are represented in two ways. The dog and the stick suit use the counting system to tell numbers by displaying the quantity of an element. Why the man suits use numeral, the semiotic symbols to represent numbers. One theory says that the three suits are actually units in ascending quantity. The dog suit circles represent the smallest unit of perforated coins. The bamboo suit strokes represent the strings that run through a collection of coins. Why the man of the character suit is a Chinese numeral for 10,000, which could be the numbers for certain strings of coins. In different civilizations, counting and numerals are the two main streams in the representation of numbers. Babylonian, Egyptian, Mayan used the counting system, while Herbary, Greek, Roman, modern Arabic, and the one we call Arabic numerals that are used worldwide today are all semiotic. Chinese actually got both in the forms of robes as well as scripts. Before we move on, I would like to share some interesting facts about the numbering system we use today. The spike is called Arabic numerals. Its origin and spread have nothing to do with Arabic. It actually came from the Indian Hindu language. It was al Khwarizmi's, possibly a Persian, but definitely not an Arabian, who adopted the Hindu numerals for his calculation method algebra, which we know as algebra today. Apart from simple counting numbers, Marjon also involves arithmetic and mathematics. Despite there may be regional variation in places like Taiwan, most Marjon is played with an initial hand of 13 tiles, and the player collects the last one to make up a winning hand of 14 through a process of drawing, matching and discarding, which is the sum of 4 sets of 3 tiles plus 2 eyes. As explained in other video under our um, Marjon 101 series, by chance, the numbers 13 and 14 have special meanings in Chinese and Western culture. 13 in Chinese is Sapsang, which sounds like sure alive. Sapsang. This is a good number, but for Westerners, it's considered an unlucky number. But to the opposite, 14 in Chinese Sapse, which sound like sure die, Sapse, which is unlucky. That is why you see some buildings skip this in numbering the fours. Apart from simple addition, it also involves multiplication. As explained earlier in the episode on the magic of 4, Mahjong always comes in a total number that is a multiple of 4, even though there may be regional differences in the exact number. Apart from the simple addition involved in making up a winning hand, the exponential functions is used in calculating how much one wins. The term fan practically means doubling the numbers of winning pawns or chips for a particular winning hand along an ascending scale of difficulty or descending scale of chances. Smart Mahjong players are often those good at assessing the chances, or in mathematic terms, the probability of getting their wanted tiles. These smart players will keep a close eye on all the discard tiles in the central pool as well as the tiles collected and exposed for pawn or trial. They will also guess what hands are being made by other player and the risk of discarding a tile that other player will claim to win, which could cause him to lose double. The mathematics involved is so deep as a subject for mathematician to write scholarly research paper on it. So that is why, from my experience, people who are smart and good at math love the game. And I believe it's not solely a coincidence that the game is very much liked by Chinese, Japanese and Jewish Americans. In the World League, Japanese Mahjong is adopted as the standard game to be played, as relatively it involves less luck element. On the other extreme, when people use Mahjong to gamble, like in a gambling Mahjong club or Mahjakun in Hong Kong, the rules are changed to play down the importance of skill in favor of total luck. Mahjong as a game to compete, like a tournament or a sport versus that as a game for gambling, could be the subject of another episode in future.